30 seconds left. Sen. Oh, seconds we're going left. to accelerate into the A side, but they're worried in case it's some kind of a trap. Well. Zelsis goes for more info, punished, but that is finally going to make the call. Sassy gets the spike down, planted for heaven. Exactly so, and I'm going to be paying close attention to this. I mean, this is where the Sentinels' protocols have been immaculate in America's, constantly stopping their opponents from taking heaven control, playing so well around that area, understanding what their opponents want to do. Absolutely, make the same argument for Carmen Core here. Paranoia being held and primed, ready and waiting was a flash to set that right up. The rate will fall. Nade, unfortunate there, gets stuck into the wall. So no rebound for Zek and the rest of now Carmen Core willing to just try and take the fight straight through into Albo. It's going to be some ground gains, but oh my, the bodies falling and toppling pistol round. Zekin, he's set up for success and even more. He's deep now. Fox in the pen. Looks like he wanted to try and overextend, but now here we go and attempt to try and reclear into mid trip. Broker John might be in some trouble. Has to call for some backup and reinforcements. Fights happening all over the bloody place. Yet still the movement is clean. Satchel there, trip in his face. And the rate still wins that one out, but the side has been fully taken. Territory now for Sen. Comical force to slow it down now. Side by side, the rate and Shin going to be holding hands through this one, but they've got a lot to chew through. This one way that Shin's looking to pop. Very difficult for the post planters to deal with. Celsius goes for a peek early on, trying to play Zekin in. It's a bit of that information, yet yeah, close to Rafters, close to the corner, and a eight plucks him out. Now brings it to the 2v2 with an aid rebounding. Do they know? Did he expect it towards new box? Half clearance! Celsius, just a one touch Shin! That is nasty! Let's see. Flash, chance for the repeat needs. And the fly straight past each other. Zekin is already way further ahead than anticipated. It's just so good. The way that he breaks the prowlers whilst continuing to scale, whilst continuing to move forwards, he's done it with the knife and with the run and gun movement with the Phantom there. It just ruins what KC are going for. Mechanical ability off the charts. Tomasi feeling the heat turned up. Sent out the paranoia, but now backs away. Trying to play for the life. Giving up heaven control. Gives up B as a result. But maybe I'll be able to just pick him apart from the side here. Is he going to get lucky with a few stray bullets? Not quite. Sassy. Minor bruises, basically. It's going to be that plant down now with five players up and kicking. Martin holding that flash out wide. Magnum not ex expecting it, not anticipating it. Showstopper now earned. This is what I'm talking about. Sen forcing the fights before the retake can even happen. The swing timing there from Zekin was excellent. It shut this retake down before it could even begin. Watching for the avenue as a game of time is, but he is going to be granted one no way. Walk straight into him, should have been a freebie, was not. Shin has got so much more to do now. Perfect paranoia, that's 10 setting his team up, but will there be anything to capitalize? It's him himself. The other one who follow through, man. Absolute dismantling so far. In terms of the entry in, in terms of the lurk play there too. It looked like Narate had it. His crosshair is in the right place, but I don't think he anticipated the timing being that quick. And this puts an enormous burden onto Magnum and Tamaji. Running away with the early section of this half here. Horn sent wide. Paranoia only on the one. Zelsis holds it down, but as the instantaneous trade, Thomas, he does not expect that position. So it's five to one. Narate's running away. No, nope. going back to heaven. Close corner. Flash. Martin collects. That's a great punish. It gives them the kill and it tells them to keep stacking B. Here we go, Util being forced out of them with the Paranoia going flying, the pull on top of it, Tens cannot get through, in fact, spam down to just single digits of HP, there's 20 seconds left. The rate's still there with the rocket in his back pocket, it's gonna be pretty monstrous here, Pit just to get themselves out, 14 seconds left, time spam. becoming an issue up to... Oh! Second, but the rate, two for two on the way, Kalman Core full control, and no more chances here, no more chances at all for Sen. Yeah, going in the opposite direction, players still ready here to meet them, close to the corner, Martin has to do more than that, but he still gets the one kill for him, and B main control is there with Thomas, he smokes himself off now, pouring into the side of Sentinels, 20 seconds left, Nightfall, Paranoia near sighted, Spike, drop down, Carmen Core rapidly approaching the position, and there's no way for Sen to bail themselves out, that is Carmen Core again. Up as well, pinged out a multitude of targets, Martin, too many, exited out, yeah, far too many way for Martin to, to deal with. with. And I guess John QT is just playing anti, that is such a nice play, oh. <laughs> and Sentinels have destroyed it. A lovely set play from Carmen Court. Looked fantastic when they ran it in EMEA, but with three players there from Martin, bit off a little more than he could chew. And Ten's got the punish. 
So this does look like now a round where Sentinel should be massively favored. Magnum's positioning is the one that I'm looking at down mid, wondering if he could get some kind of flank timing to turn this round. But it does look very much like Sentinel should be favored. Should be right in the race down already onto the floor. He's caught the back head a second. And nobody in behind nobody to try to get the to trade. Follow. Oh, spray. Magnum almost there with it. Nasty, nasty stuff. So Three much players danger. moving, pivoting. 40 seconds left. Making their way over towards mid, but they're making all the noise in the world. And the Wraith is hot on their heels. He's right behind them. He's making a call for it. But he can't afford to make noise, so he's got to travel more slowly. And that's allowed Sentinels the timing to be able to get into the site. Surely somebody is going to be watching for this. Spike planted. Surely, right, but doubled up. Now, this is where the Astral could be useful. Not going to be comboed, obviously, with Martins. It's all about this crossfire setup. First point of contact close to hell. It's John QT. Boombot. We'll clear him. And actually, Deals his position up. Tom Celsus takes the fight. Oh, I was all trying to distract as well for Shin to get this timing. And now I fear it is simply too late. Planned down at the back of his head, just a TP away, heaven control, not giving up at all. TP, heard by tens, breaks it. No funny business allowed. The rate already in, <laughs> leading the charge and through the back, twisting and turning. Tens, he's brought back up, but it's a 1v3. And now he's got to weave and dodge and juke. Diffuse being stuck by Shin, half on it already. Too much to deal with, too much to deal with. Surely it is. Sure that. That isn't where Zekin's going for, Martin. Wow. He tries to go for the info peak, punished. I know exactly. We're about to set it up here. Neural theft as well. So info gathered. I know this anchoring spot, but what do they choose to commit into? A call again made to just contact through. It's you do not want to give a timing here for Narrate to pop his ult. There. That's what it comes down to. Nade rebounding. Satchel's now in towards the back of the side. Shin! Nasty! Anchor in position! And that's three in a round. Rocket might not even be necessary. Narrate. Fuse running out. Doesn't know where to fire it. Pre-fire into the corner. That is ridiculous. And now just tens. Last alive. Disconnecting, snapping the cord and the tether. The seas. Not oh, there with a the paranoia, blind as a bat. 6-2-6 six, six for Carmen Core. I was looking for a reclay fight through the smoke as well, setting up for the flash. Through and the timing going away. Even as it goes, two for two here. Carmen Core, in the meantime, walking away through, going to be hearing them on the ropes. So now the sound cue is betraying them. John deciding whether or not to swing, tried to find a timing, didn't quite manage it. Tens still with Paranoia, so they still have Flash Nade to be able to put pressure on these elbow players. Martin, though, is very far away. Do they anticipate this? And miles away. Could be exactly what they needed. Trip wasn't broken. They're walking all the way in again. Tens opens himself up, just showing himself at the back. Nade rebounds. Paranoia now. What kind of connection if there is going to be any sort of follow up from behind. Oh, Martin no has already caught them. And it's all up to John. Low enough, dodges the flash, expecting and anticipating, but now two players to deal with. The reposition is immaculate from the rate. It's pushed away, but Shin almost taking the fight. There it is. Walking right into it. Good crosshair placement from Celsius, and he recognizes it as a threat coming from behind. Satchel through. John! What is that? QT quality tactics. This man just hitting nasty, nasty shot. Sees avoided. Narrowly now, but two players left to stand here for Carmen Court. Spike and in their possession. Look at this flank. This is really nice from Zekin and Sassi. It's going to be unexpected. 30 seconds left. Magnum's stuck in the middle of the map. He doesn't know where to go here. They only have 25 seconds. Wondering about 20 John's seconds. John's ready. This fight, this fight, this fight is so important. Unbelievable. He wins that. 4 HP and a dream. And now look how far away they are. They are miles away, but they know it. It's going to be planted towards B so they can get a jog on and get a move on. Oh, we but missed it. Magnum, he missed it. Has to stick it again for the plant. Luckily, time to spare. Horn thrown. But that's a critical mistake, honestly. He might not have time now to reposition. Backing to the pillar. Fast through Satchel in the back. <laughs> and that's just good comms. Knowing that Magnum was that low. He's tucked in a very full position. He's there. Follow up. Yeah, he can't see or hear. Bloody thing. Narrate already into the back of the side. Magnum now with the plant. And Narrate wants to go hunting for a little bit more. This time aware of it. 
Both of these teams trying to disrupt that retake potential, and it's only just equalizing now 4 2 4. How does this get played? Into the post plant. Players close up into the position still with the paranoia available. Flash through. Now the paranoia. It's there. Spraying forwards. Gate crash. Why? Damage done to Martin, but he still survives. Alive and kicking into the back of the side is Magnum tucking. Dodging, weaving, tens forwards. This is relentless by Sen. Divide it. As we divide. It was like B now, but breaking the trips as well. It's all over the place. Zelsis. Just takes a peek, take a gander. Zekin is your turn to shine. Swings out wide. There's that operator. Hello. What a surprise. 12 seconds left. There is no way in hell. Get out. Straight bullet. Sassy is a kill trip. Set that one up. Rocket forwards. Everybody narrowly avoiding, just dodging away from it. Fuse running out. Zekin. Damage. Big damage. Sassy though. He's regrouped and refound that angle. TP broken. No gate crash for you, but still. In the back lines here, flash repeat of Martin seeking to do some damage and take some risks, potentially tear away a couple of these players because they are disadvantaged. And this is Sen looking all the way now, set up for that 12th round. It's going to have to be hero moments, it's going to have to be individuals putting up big performances. Another flash, it's perfection, it clears them out in the open. One player left to stand, it's Shin. It's just not possible, man. There's just absolutely no way. He can hold on. Early forcing out the nade second. The timing for the wall. Paladin spots him! And the race finished! Run and gun! Drive by going wide. Angry in position of Sassy. A safety in numbers and numbers are arriving! <laughs> but he doesn't need him! Sassy! This man's in a class of his own when he's really on fire. And once more, poor Shin. Left alone with the things, but that is Sentinels leading the charge and leading this series. Looking to set their sights on the link. Distraction plays with the Prowler, peeking Sassy. Is that wide? Probably too much in terms of the connection. Ezekin taking the time here to reposition up towards heaven. What a call made. Still nearsighted, blinded up, but narrate. He will fall. That prior damage done. Clearing him out into the site. It's getting dangerous. It's getting dicey. But all over the place here. Damage is wandering right into him. Zelsis definitely doing it here with the players tickling down a wide face of Zelsis. There's no time left whatsoever for Carmen Court. The protocols are need to force these players out wide. The damage being done to them. The raid looking to the side. TP. He missed the teleport. Mr. TP Shin. He catches him. Judge in the face second. It's a trade by every part of the definition. Prowler forwards, jumping, <laughs> damage. The shot's going wide, second! There's no <laughs> way he's getting away with that. To deny the ult orbs on both sides of the map. Good plan, but when Magnum's just out wide like that, there's no return of fire from Thomas. He can't take the fight and stand his ground, not with the Odin. Oh, he's gonna try and get in behind the showstopper engage here. Instead of being a, a vulnerable victim on site. The danger zone still. Show stopper. Uh, Tomsey can't hit it. Spraying through near sighted with the prowler. Second force just fired a rocket blindly. But two players down now for Carmen Court. Do you really still choose to take this one or do you choose to take the save? They're looking, hoping for a bit more. That's uh, an odd one. Bouncing off the tile or something, but the orb still does the job. Cuts off that one sight line and now it has to be the call, surely. I think you've got to save here. Yeah, you have to. Already going to be calling as well for the rotations here. Paranoia falls. Martin! Can't do the same moves as Ekin was doing, not in that last map. Can't get out of it with the satchels. Is this going to end B? Straight into Shin! Shin! Could have been a difference maker, might still be. With only 12 seconds left, they've really just got to get a move on into the site. B, plant, Magnum, forwards, pressing oh! forwards! The players, they're dropping! Nine four through the site, that's one trigger onto it. So they're going to know that at least there's one player there. That's Thomasy! Time to shine, son! Time to step all the way up, and he certainly has done so. Still in control of Tree. Here's the pivot being called. Door broken, Haunt forwards, rotations abound. Breaking it through now with the paranoia to really set that one up. Shin giving them this space. Lockdown. Gonna be committed. Goes towards it with 15 seconds to spare. Is there any attempt by Carmen Do They want to be aggressive into it. Looks like they're gonna give them that space, and now planning for a retake of their own. This pit could allow, yeah, John Cutie's gonna commit pit here, and this can allow them to get back into the site and help them flood, lockdown. stop the lockdown from really finding too much value. We'll see. Even Tense as well, holding the TP as well, making sure they can get straight back into the fight. He's forwards into the corner, barely expecting it, but it's traded almost rapidly on the approach of counter pit. Online, layers it forwards in common court. They've got the players, they've got the bodies, they just need the win, and they're gonna get it. The round going their way, finally.
Now the sound cue is going to be missing from a few of these players. Else, he's in a one and done position. Blinded. Satchels. Martin. Barely grappling onto that one. A satchel forge just in case. Cuts it up. And now everybody playing from mount. A backwards position, but smoked off. Immaculate stuff from Shin. Almost going down to the spray. Down here. Damage done, but the bullet's flying through. And true for Carmen Corner. The rate. Oh. Able to stick this half. 1v2, 1v2, not sticking it out wide. And the patience played by Carmen Core. Multiple angles in the end. Does have the TP forwards. What a call. That's Martin confident. just swinging right through. Narate follows it up. And listen, there's no one else watching for it. That was the danger there if he ended up losing that fight, but they don't. It's exactly right, Josh, what you were calling for. That confidence is back. And it's boundless right now for Carmen Core. Opportunism. Looking to take the timings, even if they're not playing together. Casey find themselves in another 5v3, very similar to round seven. Easy as it goes, forwards, past it, tens. Tethered to the floor, can't see his else just to watch his teammates back. He can be trusted with that at least, but will fall. Spike, dropped out in the open. 2v4, make it a 1v4, John. No chance whatsoever here, he's on the opposite side of the map. With only 20 seconds left, will be the save. Follow-up fight. Now he doesn't have a smoke for the one-way here. Paranoia is excellent. They're all grouped up right towards the back. TP on top! That's Tens. amazing. This man is terrifying. What an angle to find. And all the way forwards, Judge in hand, Shin. It's away with it. Still, reinforcements arriving. The rate can't withstand it, though, the pressure. It's too much. It's immense. This man is a thing of nightmares. The mobility, the confidence. Both oh, working in tandem. My. He's on for the ace. Give the people what they want. One left standing, the counterpart on the omen. He knows Shin is around, he knows Shin is lurking. <laughs> Shin just tucking to spoil the clip. <laughs> Fine time, off the clock, second, here's it, footsteps. Satchel, the way, Magnum. Nasty shot, nasty business. Here, tens. Will fall. Perfect. Magnum through the back now in the side control gained here, close to the corner. Shin instantaneous with it. The trade sticking now. Tom is he onto it, but destroyed. Spam through the smoke. Two players caught. Surely that's the fuser now. Another tap from Magnum, but it's just him. 1v1. Him versus Zelsis. Sticking half on it all the way through to the fuse. Zelsis. Still that danger with the showstopper in the oh. back. Booking away. That's just spam. The rate. Finding it onto tens. Beautiful first kill for them, and this is going bad to worse, really, for Sentinels here. They still can't get a, a safe plant down. Util flying through along with the rocket. Martin, unfortunate, really, not to get that one. Satchel through into the back, pushing his teammates right into forwards. Magnum is there, collapsing, colliding, spraying them all through. John QT, he's got so much to deal oh. with here. No more bullets. Unbelievable. Right click, but everyone's there to collect it out. Go oh, to Prowler. Will it afford anything? Right into the face, there's a satchel, Martin! Not even with a shorty, but he will go down, and Anna Swarm's tearing him to shreds. And KC decide not to commit off the back of that. Certainly Sentinels getting surprised by how deep KC got before the trap play was punished. But there are a lot of players still here on the seaside. That noise re-hit, the danger is still here. Like I said, players anchoring into the seaside, Zekian holding into the corner. What a peak. It's a common core classic, and they've just got it. Look at themselves. Dodging and weaving out of the woodwork is what it feels like. Really nice. All of that fundamental prowess that we saw from KC being demonstrated here. We're feeling, again, really good about their chances. Doesn't have the tools for it. I mean, a lot of players weak narrate. Rotate. No way. Don't know what gave that one away still to kill. All Sentinels, first kill going their way. Never They've anticipated this pivot. Up. Yep, they're looking for it and expecting it. Out towards B, smoke still up into heaven. What's the call going to be here? With only 15 seconds left, a chance really to try and fight them aggressively. Haunt, broken, Boombot now, 11 seconds plan. Finally going down, but what is the fight? Yep, yeah, right through. Seize, no connection. Second! Oh, the hopes and dreams torn away in this round. Shin, wrapped and caught. It's to really choose and be down, spot it. Beaming, he does! But the Molly's into the back, he had no clue about it. Snake bite. Everything being utilized on top of it. Ruins his day there, but still getting two. The position he was in, pretty miraculous. He's made it an even job for Sentinels on this retake. Four position of Magnum. He's hoping for an easy kill, maybe even a cheap one. One way smoke. Has to force out that paranoia early, so Magnum, he's done his job. 
pulling out that util early. Now backs away with the rest of his team so he can play yeah. side by side, shoulder to shoulder, Sentinels. This is Kyle McCaw, comes down to the fundamentals, comes down to the aim, the battle being won! The Sentinels in charge of it all! Way in hell, second show stop over, this player's right behind him, they don't have a clue! Shut down, close to the corner, is shittingly surviving, keeping his team alive in this round, it could go in any direction. And the rate is still struggling to get the plant down. Some of these fights, the way it goes, I mean, flip a coin, a better chance of guessing, still up onto the ropes, that's shin, forwards. Doosan expect it, Doosan expect it, do they expect it, they do not, John! Brought down, Angles watched, forwards now, Sassy keen to take the fight, keen to trade it out. Through the box though, couple of straight bullets and Sassy's dropped down, everybody watching and eventually the adjustments are there. Both double swinging through but they've unrolled up, now the nade goes flying forwards, a connection! Celsius couldn't withstand it. With the lockdown as well, you have to respect it, Sassy's overstaying his welcome, praying that somebody would open himself up into that sideline. The plant for Mound this time, instead of the more claustrophobic one on site, allows KC to play two layers of this, and they still have Martin Showstopper to work with. Surely they win it. Well, it's incredibly favoured. At least with the odds. Horns. What's the back? Sentinels are already in. Showstopper, no one to break it. Couldn't let loose with the prowl of the fuse burning away. Half into it, it's a gamble. John QT. He finds it, still four versus four. What other util did he really have? They've got to play it side by side. Time working against them. Paranoia tends, went in for the timing, flips the switch, and now moves forward for Sodu Carmen Core. Sodu Carmen Core in complete control of the front section of the site, and a decision is made for him. John QT. See, Magnum did not give that one up already. Through forwards. Well, John QT. It's an unorthodox one, just playing close to the pillar here. Now sets down the Viper's Pit. This is a difficult one. Carmen Core chances that they have what is the call to be made out forwards in front of it lucky to be alive still smokes on smokes who knows which direction this one's going to go into with a nightfall now they don't know anything adjusting back them that is disgusting but tens he's forwards and through eventually removing that pesky pesky problem that is the igl two players forwards the rate has fallen shin last alive john qt miraculous with the movement Prowler, Satchel's up above, doesn't expect it. Stinger, exactly where it's favoured. Close quarter combat. They don't have to sight just yet. They know where John QT is. John needs some help. John needs some help here. Swinging wide. Sassy will be punished for it. Casualty. Line of fire and a line of action here. It is a bit futile, is what it feels like. Carmen Core only just getting ground underneath them. Plant, paranoia that forces it out. And a Satchel forward smoke fading away. Martin! Oh, he's on one right now, on for the ace. One more. We'll do it. John QT. Spotted. 1v3. Spotted and shut down. Eat. Wrong timing taken for it. Guess what? They want to go forwards. Second. That's a snake by that takes him down. There's so many layers to that. It really is. First wave of Util, second with the paranoia and with the satchel. That has really. Sentinels in the driving seat. But Magnum broke the alarm bot on B. No response from anybody there, so he's calling to narrate that B may be clear. Oh, is Tom Ishii going to try to fake this with a pit or something? What? What are KC cooking? They had a free B site to go for, and they're still going A! But again, Tensions walks forwards for the information. He's brought down three versus three still. Two plays at the back of the site. What is it called? Double face! And spray through and down! Equal parts on either side here, one. Just no chance, surely. The anything taps it, hoping that a few of these players will be out wide and open! Unbelievable! This time! Unbelievable! Ella seconds available! Celsius is miles away. The Nightfall gonna confirm that he's not playing towards Rubble. Number eight, nine below! Yes! Forwards, haunt, haunt, broken, tags it in the smoke, forward, Satchel's backwards, a boundless second, he let the rocket loose, and Sentinel's no way! From the jaws of defeat, they're trying to take it back, Magnum has taken so much damage in the mix of things, 3 HP, Spike, retrieved, back and away, not quite, it's dropped down, and Sentinel's out of nowhere! All on the line for Carmen Court. And the calls are being made here, fighting up close, fighting forwards. All tucked away, Zelsis! The hopes and dreams ripped to pieces. Shin, desperate for it, tens forwards. And it couldn't come down to anything, Thomas Z.
No chance. Sentinels have done it. The number one seed taken out.